हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज अवर फिफ्थ क्लास ऑन द चैप्टर फूड एंड हेल्थ इन आर लास्ट क्लासेस वी लर्न अबाउट डिजीजेज कम्युनिकेबल डिजीजेस एंड नॉन कम्युनिकेबल डिजीजेज नॉन कम्युनिकेबल डिजीजेस आर नॉट स्प्रेड फ्रॉम वन पर्सन टू अनदर बट एज कम्युनिकेबल डिजीजेज आर स्प्रेड फ्रॉम वन पर्सन टू अनदर फ्रॉम एन इन्फेक्टेड पर्सन टू हेल्थियर पर्सन दैट्स वाई इट इज वेरी नेसेसरी for the prevention of communicable diseases we have to prevent the spread of communicable diseases so children to prevent the spread of communicable diseases through different agents we have to maintain proper hygiene what is hygiene hygiene is the different ways of keeping clean and staying healthy hygiene is the different ways of keeping clean and healthy so let us first see what are the steps of maintaining personal hygiene children to maintain personal hygiene we should follow some steps first one is we should brush our teeth and take a bath regularly we should brush our teeth twice daily that is in the morning and before going to the bed we should also take a bath regularly with soap and clean water the second point is we must wear clean clothes understood third one is we should wash our hands after coming from the toilet after visiting from the toilet and students we should also wash our hands before and after eating our meals yes children now all of you are habituated in doing this the whole day you are asking to wash your hands with soap and water so many times to prevent the spread of corona virus yes or no yes now children the fourth point is we must keep ourselves away from one infected person the persons who is are suffering from chicken pox or measles or covid 19 or viral fever we should keep ourselves in a distance from them yes of course all of you are now habituated in maintaining social distancing you all maintain social distance to prevent the spread of corona virus yes now come to some surrounding hygiene children it is also very important to keep our surrounding clean the house where we live and its surrounding we have to keep keep clean children the first point is we should keep our house clean we should open the doors and windows of our house and make it airy and we should let the sunlight enter into our houses as sunlight kill the germs in present in our house second point is the kitchen should be cleaned properly understood we should use clean utensils in which we store our food or in which we eat our meals understood third point is children we should regularly wash and disinfect our kitchens bathrooms drains toilets etc we can use some disinfectants understood what phenyl you can use phenyl or some other uh, products which you can find easily in the market to disinfect your bathrooms kitchens the drains understood now children next point is we should not throw garbage here and there in the surrounding of our house we should always dump the garbage in covered dust bins understood as all of you know the heap of garbage is the breeding place of flies flies carry germs from those garbage and spread diseases in our food and water they contaminate our food and water by leaving the germs and when we intake those contaminated food and water 
we will suffer from different diseases like cholera jaundice diarrhea dysentery etc next point is students we should not allow water to collect anywhere in our surrounding or inside our house as all of you know mosquitoes breed in stagnant water stagnant water is the breeding place of mosquitoes and mosquitoes spread diseases like malaria malaria dengue chikungunya etc so we should not allow water to collect near our houses or around our houses next point is that we should always use mosquito net when we sleep we should also use mace in our doors and windows to prevent the entry of mosquitoes and different flies inside our home so children this is all about personal hygiene and surrounding hygiene all of you now acquainted in maintaining personal hygiene and surrounding hygiene to uh, reduce the spreading of to check the spreading of viruses especially corona virus now as we are suffering from this virus now this disease now covid 19 okay now children the most important thing is one also that is vaccination children what is vaccination the way through which we can develop immunity power we can increase the immunity power of our body to fight with disease to fight against diseases is known as vaccination the process through which our body acquire immunity by some vaccines is known as vaccination this process is known as vaccination now you have question ma'am then what is vaccine yes vaccine are some dead or weak germs of a specific disease which is injected in the bodies okay this is known as vaccine and due to injection of some dead and weak germs of a specific disease into our body our body is ready to fight with that disease when we are attacked by that disease in future so children vaccine also help in boosting our immunity power understood what is immunity then what is immunity children the resistance power of our body which help us to fight with foreign germs or disease is known as immunity all of you know immunity what is immunity now you are taking vitamin c for increasing your immunity you are doing regular exercises for boosting your immunity you are taking balanced diet for increasing your immunity power to fight with corona virus now now you are asking by your elders to boost your immunity so children by taking vaccination vaccine also we can boost we can increase our immunity power against certain or specific disease understood now children our government made a rule to give polio vaccine to all the children who is are below 5 years or of 5 years oral polio drops are given to them so many people come from health centers okay they research in our houses if uh, any uh, ch child of 5 uh, year or below it present in our home or not then he or she will give oral polio drop to eradicate polio from the world this mission is followed understood now children there are so many vaccines of different diseases are already discovered they are let us see diphtheria cholera tetanus typhoid polio measles mumps meningitis and hepatitis already vaccines of these diseases are discovered i think you have all remembered that when you were a child when you were a child your parents took you to the health centers to give different vaccines understood 
Why? To boost your immunity power against a specific or a particular disease. Understood? When in future that germ of that disease will enter into your body, automatically your body will develop antibody. Okay? To fight with that disease. Now children, the whole world is waiting for the vaccine of COVID-19 disease. We are suffering from this pandemic now. We are afraid of coronavirus now. So all of us are waiting for a vaccination. That is a vaccine. That is corona vaccine. Understood? When this vaccine will come, will reach to us, then we are, we will able to lead a normal life again. So children, this is all about prevention of communicable diseases, how to maintain hygiene, okay, and vaccine, immunity and vaccination. You should know about vaccine and vaccination now. Understood? So all of you learn page 35 and 36. Properly, I will provide you question answers in my next class. Till then, all of you stay safe and healthy. Understood? And I pray to God for that vaccine which can eradicate this virus, this dread virus that is coronavirus from this world. Thank you.